Greetings all, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be looking at Battletech Clan Invasion from Catalyst Games Lab. So this is um, a newly released product for Battletech, and um, so it's reintroducing the clans to, to players that are out there. Now if you looked at my other uh, video where we looked at the starter box, we talked a little bit about uh, this game and its history. Uh, Battletech has been around a long, long time, since the 80s, and um, it has a rich and detailed history, and it's pretty awesome. It's, there's some cool stuff out there. There are some good authors writing Battletech books. There are great Battletech video games out there. Even um, over the last few years, there have been like two or three new Battletech video games. So obviously there's something about this setting that people really like. And then this is... Um, you know, for the board game, what started all this is an expansion that adds the clan uh, mechs. And basically, I'm and I'm going on uh, my memory of many years ago, and I don't know if the lore has changed, but basically, there was uh, um, the inner sphere where you had all these houses, very kind of um, almost like medieval, or, or uh, you know, you had a lot of think of maybe Dune to you have a lot of houses, a lot of families, and um, people that fight, um, politics, all of that stuff, it's all crazy, but they use mechs to, to do all their fighting. And during that time, uh, out in the outer reaches of the galaxy, there were these clans um, of humans that had once been driven away, and now they, they come back in a massive invasion, and their mechs, and I can't remember the rationale, are more advanced than the inner sphere mechs. The inner sphere, inner sphere I think... Um, regressed or, or lost uh, the, the ability to remember technology as well. So these guys come in with some uh, great um, you know great tech, better battleoids or not battleoids, <laughs> battle mechs and uh, you know kind of ride rough shot and there's again a whole story of that. So with that said, and sorry I got a little sidetrack there, um, the contents. What do we get here? We get five fully assembled and unpainted mechs, uh, two fully assembled unpainted bases of elementals, that's these power armored guys. Uh, we get some paper maps, punch outs for additional uh, omni mechs, you know, yeah, omni mechs are what the clan mechs are called. Uh, 32 page rule book, 24 page record sheets, 24 page clan invasion primer, 20 page fiction novella, 10 double-sided mech warrior cards, 5 double-sided alpha strike cards, heavy stock reference sheet, and 2 six-sided dice. And it looks like this game runs about $50 US. Alright, well let's crack her open and see what we get here. So here's our novella. The Bonds of Battle by Blaine Lee Pardo. Very cool. Our dice. Yeah. These are looks like unit cards or alpha strike cards and character cards. Joshua Ward. Now, let's take a look at some of these cool models here. Let's put this to the side for a moment. This little guy. Alright, this one, GRNDL Grendel? I don't know. But it's cool looking. Then we've got this guy, Timberwolf or Mad Cat, if I remember correctly. One of the cooler and, and uh, iconic clan um, mechs. And he is very nicely detailed. These aren't primed or anything, they're just plastic, but very nice. Nice, hard quality. You got this big guy. Executioner, maybe? I don't know. He's big. He's got a scary face. He's ready for action. 
got some of these smaller ones. Oh, his arm popped out. I'm get that out Interesting, that is... Looks like it's completely broken. But, I mean, that will glue right there without any problem. But that is interesting. Completely snapped there. Now you can put a pin in there, or, I mean, there's enough material there, you probably just glue it and it should be fine. Then the last little guy here, Adder. Nice detail. Lots of nice panels and things like that to pick up, you know, pick out when you're painting. Very cool. And then you've got a couple of stands of elementals. These look identical. Basically powered armored infantry. I like how they have the smoke trails holding them up. That's really neat. Very cool. So, you get quite a few cool miniatures. Next we have the rule book. And let's take a look at the table of contents here. So it's got a 30 page rule book, not bad. These are a bunch of the clans. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Oh, there you go. Some painted examples of the miniatures. Oh, that's not bad. I kind of like that one. All right. Clan Invasion Primer. I'm sure this is, yeah, just like... There's a map of the inner sphere. You've got basically just a, you know, a little bit of fluff, a little bit of history for all of the different clans and the return, the war of return or whatever it's called. So that's pretty cool. You also get a Omnimech record sheet. Very cool. You get a really thick card plastic map. Now this is pretty pretty huge. That's pretty cool. And you've got kind of a cheat sheet for the gameplay. And you've got punch out cards if you want to play with additional mechs. Don't have the miniatures. You can just stand them up and uh, play with them. You have some terrain cutouts for the board. Maps remind me a lot of the uh, ogre uh, maps that I have. I wonder if those would, how the hex size compares. So similar to the um, starter set, you've got a desert on one side and green on the other side. So that's pretty cool. And they're pretty flimsy paper, so this isn't a long-term solution. But I bet you could find a neoprene map uh, manufacturer that has hexes on it. That's pretty cool. Right, so this is, um, overall, it is pretty cool. It's got a lot of the, um, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff you need to play. I think it's got everything you need to play, you know, if you want to play as the clan. So this is a great um, introductory set for that. And it's, uh, you know, not too expensive. I don't know the point levels. Like, are these five mechs going to be enough for a typical battle? Or do you need more or less? When we played, we didn't really use very many more than three, four, five mechs, so I'm suspecting the game is similar, but who knows? But the fact that is um, they're going to be releasing more miniatures down the road. The quality of the miniatures looks great, and um, 
you know the future of the game is looking bright. So if you guys like BattleTech and you're kind of curious about what was in the set, well now now you know. Now you know. It's got all kinds of cool miniatures, lots of rules, lots of fluff. And that's how uh, BattleTech I think was sold or at least how it grew was the strength of its fluff. So you do yourself a disservice if you don't check out the uh, the fluff that comes with this box. So, but there you go guys, that's looking at Battletech Clan Invasion from Catalyst Games. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. We always appreciate hearing from you guys, particularly Battletech guys, because uh, we don't do a lot of Battletech content. And uh, if you guys want more Battletech content, I need to know. Um, you know, we need to see numbers and, and uh, comments and enthusiasm. And uh, that tells me that it's an area where, you know, you guys are going to want to see more content. Please do, uh, you know, give us a like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. Click that bell to receive notification when we publish new content. We appreciate you guys watching, and keep on wargaming.